Let me give you a little background of this project. Why, what, why, what's the reason of these projects? The reason of this project is twofold. One is industry downwards, the country downwards, state downwards, and there is a company upwards. What, what, what's the benefit for the company? Why would a company do such a project? Now, when Andhra Pradesh, for example, got bifurcated in 2014-15, the brief to us was that this part of the state has been primarily an agricultural state. When you're an agricultural state, unlike the other part of the state which where IT was a, had by then got established in a big way, it was a primarily an agricultural state. Now when you say industrial infrastructure, it is not about building roads and building corridors and building industrial lands. It's also about building the people who are going to work in that industry. You can't have an industrial infrastructure without people being ready in this state. And for an agricultural infrastructure state, this is an impossible task of impossibility. And that is what the vision of the state government was, which was told to us, based on which we did a market research, we found out the gaps, we aligned with the state government's industrial policy, and the entire scope of the project was decided. Based on the decision of the scope of the project, this project was designed to not just address the high end of the engineering skills, but also the mid-range and the low end of the skills. In, in the parlance of uh, industry, it is called the white collar, blue collar, gray collar, and rust collar workforce. And that's the reason why there are center of excellences, there are technical skill development institutes, and so on and so forth. It's established over 40 locations. Initially it was 36, it was extended without any, any change of any additional payment. It was extended over 40 locations, where over 200 plus labs have been set up. These centers span over 250,000 square feet and more. I don't know the latest numbers. And till 2021, 2,13,000 uh, students have been trained, certified, and all their details are available in the system. In 2021, so the, 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 the contract was to build, operate, and transfer. Build, then operate for two years, handhold for one year, and then transfer this uh, at, at the end to the government. All of the phase has been completed. In fact, it took more than three years, uh, not thanks to COVID. Uh, the center was additionally run. Uh, handover wasn't possible. And in 2021, these centers were handed over. 40 booklets for each of these centers with complete stock register, co-signed by Design Tech, who was the system impl implementation for the project with the with APSSDC representing the state government and with the center head which is the principal of the college have been signed and have been handed over to the government. At the end of the successful implementation of this project, this project had got received letter of commendation from APSSDC saying great job done. And this is I'm talking about 2021. On the same 2021, the others, and this is letter of commendation has come from the managing director of APSSDC, not some officer. I was not in Siemens. This is my after knowledge. 2018, I left. I had no understanding of what was happening. 